All right, y'all, welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle and the lock we're going to take a look at this time is right here. It is a Chateau discus lock. It is the C870. Um, I think we'll go ahead and get it out of this super shiny package so it doesn't uh, blur anybody or blind anybody. Um, we'll take a look at a, take a, take a closer look at it. Let me grab my Fiskars here, my favorite, favorite scissors. Uh, get this heavy duty clamshell off of here. There we go. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for scissors to get packages like this off and other things, these things are absolutely lovely. Fiskers. I love these things. Alright, let's get some of that out of the way and see if we can't... Uh-oh. Is that enough? There we go. There we go. Bam. Pow. Alright, we need this. Alright, so what do we got here? We got a Chateau Security Specialist. Uh, these are locks, if, if you haven't noticed yet, are very, very common on uh, self-storages. Uh, where you store your, store your goodies. It even says down here, exclusively self-storage. Lifetime warranty, stainless steel, uh, maximum security, two and three quarter inch or 70 millimeter. Uh, again, it's the C870. Uh, what do we got here? Again, maximum security, uh, hardened steel shackle, uh, heavy duty laser welded case, five pin brass tumbler, rust free stainless steel body, steel alloy keys. Uh, yeah, all weather, lubricate occasionally, uh, lifetime warranty, warranty. If this lock should ever fail due to a manufacturing def defect, Simply return it to our address and we will repair or replace it and return it at no charge. Not liable for consequential, indirect, or incidental damages. Whatever that means. I guess that's the, uh, that's the catch right there to the lifetime warranty. Uh, so yeah, rust free anti cut. Um, yeah. Um, that lubricate. I've, I've got people asking me all the time, you know, they think, um, Graphite is good in locks, and in my opinion, I wouldn't put graphite in a pin tumbler lock. Because after time, it, it, it turns into a cake, like a cake dough. Personally, you know, get some lock lube, maybe some, uh, what's mine, the uh, Houdini is a good one. Um, but don't, yeah, don't, don't, especially don't mix stuff. You know, if, if someone did put uh, graphite in it, don't spray something else in it. Because again, you'll, you'll turn it into type... Uh, kind of a dough so no bueno so yeah pretty handsome lock um by the way this was what this was at time of purchase 9.99 on ebay and i'll tell you what this is a ten dollar lock all day long without without even looking at it further it's a ten dollar lock um in my opinion so yeah pretty handsome i do like their logo by the way i think i pointed that out it's pretty handsome also Handsome like me. So there are the keys. Pretty nice bidding on that, to be honest. I just kind of got lucky with that. I'm sure they, they vary quite a bit. Nasty little keyway. And we put the key in. We rotate the shackle out. Bada boom, bada bang. Um, I think I mentioned this before. These discus locks. When I was a kid, we used to call them army locks. And I don't know where that came from, but maybe because they were just big and strong and tough looking. Uh, they reminded us of the uh, army or something. But yeah. You know, I got a I got a strange feeling. I'm looking at the end of the shackle. And it did say hardened shackle. I think we might have to test that. Yeah, we might. But let's see if we can't pick into it first. I'm checking out that nasty little keyway, but it does look like... Let me get a pointer of some kind. It looks like the pins are going to stop right on that warding right there. So I could probably pick off of this ledge and use bottom of keyway down here. Because I don't need the bottom of this keyway because there's no way I'm going to get a pick to go straight up into those pins. It'll have to go around too many corners, as you can see. So let's grab us uh, some sort of tension tool here. Uh, maybe this dude. 
That might work. And let me grab, uh, let me just grab my South Ord. I love the South Ord. Uh, because they got that low profile shaft right there. So let's just try that. Let's uh, see if I can hold it somehow. Let's try that. And I'm just going to go off this ledge right here on the right side. So let's see if we can't pop this puppy. Loose. Yeah, it's not, it's not fitting great, but it is fitting. Loose, loose. Yeah, that pick is not, it's really not wanting to go around that corner right there. It's not the best choice. But we got it. All right. So yeah, it wasn't really wanting to turn that turn that corner right there you see how it twisted that keyway is how paracentric it is so I was having to go around like that kind of twist it in there but it got the job done I'm telling you I love these south ord again they got that low profile shaft so you can really get into some of them smaller keyways like that but yeah so that worked out pretty good um again for 10 bucks I mean that's great lock for 10 bucks but we are going to have to uh, check out that shackle because I, for some reason, I'm just having a doubt. I don't know why. I think it's just the ugly end on that. I don't know if you can see that. It just doesn't look like it's made well. Grab my little handy dandy little file here. Uh really don't want to jack it up but I gotta test that because something's just hankering me all right let's just go for it You know, I think it is hardened. I'm just chewing into the chrome. So I'd have to say it's hardened. Because, yeah, it's just eating the chrome. It's not biting into the shackle itself, at least not very well. So, yeah, that's a pass. So, yeah, the Chateau, definitely a $10 lock all day long, in my opinion. My humble opinion. So there it is, the Chateau C870. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, please do so. Remember all the cool people are doing it. If you want to be cool, you got to subscribe. All right. You want to see more cool stuff like this or what do you want to see? Why don't you let me know in the comments? All right. I'll do my very best to get any lock that I, you know, within reason. All right. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments. Thank you.